everyone, Tanner Turney checking in up here giving you a weekly ice fishing report and uh, update on our ice conditions. And uh, I just gotta say, what a week it's been on Devil's Lake. Started off this weekend, uh, first weekend out on the lake after the couple sports shows, got into a pretty good walleye bite. Um, caught a couple limits of eaters with my dad this weekend. We Couldn't go. complain about that. Got and earlier this week, Monday morning, I had quite the surprise. I was just about finishing up for the morning and um, yeah, I pulled my personal best walleye through the ice. It was about 27 inches. Um, I don't know how much she weighed. She went back and swam for another day, but she had a healthy belly on her. I'm guessing she was uh, pretty well fed. So I was super excited about that. Always fun when you get to land one of those by yourself, solo out there. Um, as far as the bite's been going, walleyes have been great. Uh, the fishing for walleyes has been kind of in those transition points. All I've been doing is picking those uh, inside turns out in anywhere from 18 to 25 feet of water. And it definitely seems like the bite in the morning goes till about 10 o'clock. Um, the big one on Monday came at 9.30, so still a lot of light out there in the morning. They were active. And uh, in the evenings, it seems like between 3, 3.30, the things start to pick up, and then it just goes lights out until dark. Uh, as perch go, of course, sunny days like this is best. That's what I'm doing out here. I have my first time perch fishing this year, so I'm out here just doing some exploring, hoping to see if I can't find a couple active fish. Um, tungsten jigs again, small presentations for the perch. The walleye I caught and walleyes I've caught have been on rattling blade spoons and the Northland buckshot tipped with the minnow head. And like I said, utilize your multiple lines. I did catch about half my fish on my dead stick with a full minnow. So make sure to utilize multiple lines when you're up here just to increase your odds. And overall ice conditions, I've been finding anywhere from eight to 14 inches with an average 10 to 12. So I've been able to go pretty much anywhere with my four wheeler. Um, it's been a fantastic week. I know it's been pretty nice. We haven't made a lot of ice, but we haven't lost any. So anyone planning to come up this weekend or over the Christmas break should be a good one. So just stay tuned, practice safe ice, or practice safety out there on early ice, and enjoy the great outdoors. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll keep you updated as the bite progresses this season.